Here comes Edwards Alaire on the toss right. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. You talk about closing in a hurry as a safety and run support. Not only did he get a good run in, he gave him a pretty good pop, too, and finished off the play behind the line of scrimmage. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. He'll buy some time right. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. So on fourth down, Mahomes off. Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. And that is no good. He pulled it just a bit, just a wee bit wide left. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, that is not what you want to see from him on the big stage, obviously. And he, he's been so reliable all season long. A big part of why they've gotten here to this game. But you have to wonder, will this haunt them later as the Super Bowl progresses? The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A gain of 10 as they they look to add on to this 10-point lead. Extra bulk up front for second and inches. Three tight ends. Tannehill getting it out quickly to Brown. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Back to throw, Tannehill. Derek Henry, the ball carrier. He's forced out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. The final shot here before the break, Tannehill escaping the pressure right. And a double coverage and it's intercepted. Picked off by Bashad Breeland. And he will be brought down as time is now run out on this first half of action. So it's halftime here on sports' grandest stage in the Super Bowl. As we toss it an hour or so east. So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. Steven Gostkowski set to kick off. Both teams ready after the halftime spectacle. And we are back underway in Super Bowl 55. And this will make it into the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. And the last time that they were on the field, a little demoralizing. Missed field goal. You don't always feel like you want to get it in the end zone, but then, oh, well, at least we're going to get three. Didn't go through the goalpost, so. It does test the mental processes of the team, though, doesn't it? Because when you miss a field goal, it's amazing how fast they want to turn on the guy kicking the ball. But you need to keep his confidence up because how many times have we seen games where it comes down to a stretch? And guess what? You need that guy to make the big kick. For oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Picked by Kevin Byard. And that's a touchdown, but hold on. There is a flag down on the field. We'll have to see what this is about. So a holding penalty, and that'll send him backwards. You know they're trying not to do that. I mean, we know that, right? We talk to them all the time. But sometimes the defensive guys just put you in awkward situations, and you get caught grabbing their jerseys. This is Henry. 
call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. He's brought down at the 31. Four yards on the pickup. Again, it's Henry. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. He was tackled at the 27-yard line. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. Good. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. First down carry for Henry. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. Derrick Henry all alone. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Derrick Henry, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Titans are going to add on to their lead. And that's a drive that makes everyone happy on that bench because they accomplish exactly what they set out to do. Take care of the football, eat up a little clock, end up in the end zone. Now they've got to push it for the rest of the game. So they didn't just help themselves offensively, they helped their defense out as well. Steven Goskowski is set to kick off. Goskowski now, after the touchdown, he'll send this one away. Taken in the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. 25 yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And last time was a pretty one play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Offense. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. So the illegal forward pass also cost them a down, and now it's second and long. They fake the give. Now Mahomes rolling to his right. And going deep for Hill. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Brings up third down and 15. They go play fake. Mahomes rolling to his left. Going deep here for Watkins. That's caught inside the 20. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. On the move to his left. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. And the return will stop them well inside their own 20 at the 15-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Here's Tannehill. will set them up nicely deep down at KC territory. It's a big run that time by Henry. 66 yards for him on the ground. They keep it with Henry on first down. Not sure exactly what he saw that made him decide to hand it off, but a great decision and a fantastic run. From our vantage point, what he saw was a defense that got out of its lanes, got out of its gaps, and they were pretty much running to the court. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. 
Ryan Tannehill with a touchdown pass to A.J. Brown. And the interception by the Titans' D leads to a touchdown. Had the option to hand that one off or run it himself, but instead, a really easy quick pass. I like the way they made a decisive decision and got it right to the receiver. One move later, he's in the end zone. Goskowski set to kick off. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. Fielded in the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. This is Bell. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker. And now it's third down. They'll go again with Bell. Now Bell hit. He lost the football. And that might be Titan football. It is. As they say, this game has exactly been won for the Bucs. I mean, we're into the fourth quarter here. And now this happens, another turnover. Not one that they're going to hold up and say, yeah, this has been a banner deck. Absolutely. Still sitting on zero. And he's got room. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Derrick Henry with his third touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Titans capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone, and in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now, no question about it. And you talk about on his back, he's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, those, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. And they'll indeed take a knee. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. Some strong running, but quickly corralled just beyond the 10 yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. They'll roll him out right. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. Too many zeros on the stat sheet thus far. No touchdown passes. No points for his team, but he remains undaunted. Still attempting to get his team on the scoreboard, firing the ball downfield. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. They're going deep for Hill. And Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the safety, Kenny Vaccaro. And they will set up shot. 